tracking. Let's hit apply. X and Y, okay. I'm sure it's fine. Spend a bit longer refining a track. Try and find some tracking tutorials. You can see it moves a bit, so what we're going to do, make sure we grab both our layers. Hit S, scale them up a bit. Um, gonna have to make sure we grab the pan behind tool first. For some reason, the pivot is not central. Okay, so now they should line up better. You might occasionally see that. It comes out of shot, but that shouldn't be a problem. After Effects is very good. But now what you can see is that what we're starting to get is lots of movement elsewhere, but this one area is very static, so we're going to fix that now. What we're going to do is duplicate it, Command D. And the first one, we're going to subtract everything that is going to get rid of all this upper tree bit so it's just literally up to the top of the hedge I'm going to tell that um, sorry, M tell that to subtract and then on this one I'm going to go into our move tool and make sure that it's everything above the hedge Just like that. Beautiful. And now what we can do, hide our mask, is effect, distort, turbulent displays. And let's go to frame one. And as you can see, what happens is when we turn, sorry, what I'm going to do is put that above that and ensure that the mask comes below. Sorry. Yeah. Just so that the feathering doesn't mess anything up. And you can see when we cycle the evolution it goes out of control what I'm going to do is turn down the amount to like one size dramatically down increase the amount a bit more and when we You can see that it just gives it a little bit more movement, which makes it more lifelike. So what we're going to do, I'll click the evolution. Do time times 30. And as you can see, our hedge is now moving with it, which is just what we want but we've still got a stationary hedge in front and we now want to add an adjustment lane in here we can give it some noise just to give the footage an overall feel of being video footage effect, colour correction levels put that before the noise Um, I'm just going to stylize it quite dramatically, just quite blown out. 
colours just to show that they all matched quite well. Just like that. And let's say you're working with a distance shot and you wanted to convince people that it was a still image. You could go new, solid, make it sort of like a dark grey. Like that. Feather it. Toggle switches and modes. And what we're basically doing is creating a bird. Movement, don't feather it too much. So it's S scale, bring the scale down. P. Zoom in a bit, come on plus just like Photoshop. Oh my god. Now you can see that a bird flies across in the distance. What you want to do is make it darker and smaller. But that is the bottom line. We've now removed the building convinced them it's all real, all one bit of footage and fight, uh, live to affect another shot. Thank you for watching, Dan Allen, Dan Allen, Batsy Castle, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Thanks.